Please stand. This morning's Mass will be offered for Elizabeth Chu, and today we celebrate the Feast of St. Joseph, the Bishop and Martyr of the Church. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession we too may be strengthened by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I, a prisoner for the Lord, urge you to live in a manner worthy of the call you have received with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another through love, striving to preserve the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you were also called to the one hope of your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. But grace was given to each of us according to the measure of Christ's gift. And he gave some as apostles, others as prophets, others as evangelists, others as pastors and teachers, to equip the holy ones for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of faith and knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the extent of the full stature of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord, and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed, Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water, that yields its fruits in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does, prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff, which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Says the Lord, whoever lives in me 
and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord, be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, so that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I in them, and you in me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me, and that you love them even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they they know you, they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Joseph had lived in the 17th century. He was born in Poland, but his family were Ukrainian Orthodox, staunch Orthodox. And young Joseph had thought it wasn't right that Christians should be divided into different groups. And he's, so he became first a Brazilian priest of the uh, Ukrainian rite of the Catholic Church. And then he became a bishop, priest, bishop, and he, he strove to try to unite the Orthodox and the Catholics together. They tried in the 11th century, Emperor Michael of the uh, Byzantine Empire wanted to be reconciled to the Pope of Rome so that the church would be one. And really, the day before he died, well, he was actually murdered the day before it was to become a reality. So that was the end of that. And then, in recent years, uh, the uh, Ukrainians were interested in becoming part of the Catholic Church, but there was much pressure from Russia because they belong to the Patriarch of Moscow. And so the Communists would never want Ukraine to join into the Western Church. So the Archbishop, or the Patriarch of Ukraine, who wanted to, to be reconciled, was murdered again before it happened. And so, unfortunately, even good people can go wrong, and so it wasn't terrorists who did these murders, it was actually the, the Orthodox who felt that they should never belong to the Catholic Church. They, in fact, that was the problem in the very beginning. The Eastern Empire did not uh, want the Western Empire to be their ruler. So at any rate, in this day and age, we still pray for ecumenism, that's unity among all Christians. Uh, we pray, but we make some advances insofar that at least we can be on friendly terms and respect each other. But if you ever dealt with people of other denominations, sometimes they, they are highly resentful and they won't respect us or have anything to do with us. So again, as the Gospel tells us today, that Jesus prays that we all will be one. So we'll continue to do so, and may that one day that become a reality. 
And after it's down, please, we'll have our general intercessions. <coughs> With trust in God's loving will, let us make our requests known to Him. For leaders of the Church, may the grace of our Almighty God pour forth in them a spirit of unity and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are elected to government, may God's justice be in their hearts. As they make decisions in the best interest of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who feel despair. May God lift the cloud of darkness and fill them with hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may we be good soil that bears good fruit after hearing the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Elizabeth Shu, for whom this Mass is offered, for all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners, May they enjoy eternal life in heaven and behold the face of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special intentions, which we now mention in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, in your wisdom, grant our prayers according to your holy will. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed God, God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. <clears throat> Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all the soul of church age. Most merciful God, pour out your blessings upon these offerings and confirm us in the faith that St. Joseph professed by the shedding of his blood. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lord, you your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. The very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give order to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Therefore all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we with all the host of angels cry out. And without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord of God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, your gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it. And gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, the Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Elizabeth Chu and all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Joseph, St. Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, I'm formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now for each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits of the prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you.